Member for Senate South. Thank you. It is a great privilege today to rise in this House and speak to the legacy of Sue Rodriguez, a woman who lived and died right here on Vancouver Island. She is best known to all of us for her brave fight to have the power to end her own life 22 years ago. Her words came back to us this month on February 6th as a historic decision was made by the Supreme Court of Canada. The court ruled that Canadians have the right to doctor-assisted suicide. If I cannot give consent to my own death, whose body is this? Who owns my life? Ms. Rodriguez stated in an interview as she, stated, as she faced a grim death from ALS. This decision by the courts was exactly what she was asking and fighting for during the, the end of her life. She was brave, and her values are ones now reflected by many Canadians today. She was ahead of her time, and she would have welcomed this decision in an important step forward for a progressive and compassionate Canada. The unanimous Supreme Court decision opens the door for doctor-assisted dying. I rise to speak to this issue because this decision presents this legislature with a possible challenge. The court has given the federal government a year to make some changes, and if that fails to happen, the opportunity to make change will come to the provinces. It's not an easy subject to talk about, much less to create policy and law for. It's difficult because it forces us as individuals to think deeply about death, about our own death, and about, about the death of our loved ones. It's challenging because reasonable and good-hearted people can have radically different perspectives on this topic. And yet, of course, it's an obvious truth that we will all die. Sue Rodriguez's great gift to us was her demand that we all face this challenge. Thank you. Thank you, Member.